Howdy there, folks. Tex of the Black Pants Legion here, and welcome to episode 6 of the Magistrata Mundanus. This episode is entitled, Building Bridges One Bullet at a Time. By now, you've probably realized that the officers of Delta Squad are perhaps not as orthodox as their contemporaries. This is the part of the story where the violence escalates. Sit down, enjoy, and thank you for listening. All right, so just to wrap things up before I start this, um, as you guys are ransacking the place and backing the vehicle out, obviously. Uh, oh, from, I've got to use a winch to recover it. Right, because you did drive it through the front of the bread store. And um, then through the back of the bread store. Yes, <laughs> and crushing everyone in, in the way, knocking over racks. You guys did manage to find some very interesting weapons. Uh, you know, for to, to keep them out of the wrong hands, of course. So, uh, Mr. Diggs, your your famed psyker, found himself a, a long las, and the Krieger. How, how does this work? <laughs> yeah, the Krieger found himself a uh, laslock or laser musket, though it is engraved with noble patterns and filigree, and it looks like it was an ornamental drill rifle. Um, Griglack, son of Griglack, found himself a set of Obrez chucks. What were once bolt-action rifles have been turned into a series of nunchucks, and they look worn but serviceable. Ricky, of God knows where, found himself a back-alley cobbled-together uh, revolver that holds 20 shots of minuscule uh, rimfire ammunition. <laughs> And oh, help, why? yeah, and our and our adept found himself gloriously a crate of grenades. However, before we begin this game, I'm going to need all of you to make a very important roll. Please, all roll me one d100. Twelve. Uh, Twenty-four. I roll eighteen. Thirty-three. Wow! All right. Between you all. doing real good. Hang on. I rolled a 97. Okay. okay. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Bet we almost made a chance. Between you all, you have the thought and observation and idea and inclination, aside from the adept who is walking around logging all of the damage you have done in triplicate because paperwork yes. brings him great joy. You realize that that is in fact an auto cannon in the corner. What? Yes, and you realize not only is it an auto cannon, but it has a standardized mounting on it, and you also seem to recall that same mounting fits Being on the, the pintle of my truck. If you guys would like to make that test, I will allow you to mount that to your vehicle. I have tech use, but I have to know in character about this. All right, fine. Okay. We'll 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 start this so, proper. As 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 I am muttering to myself, I look over at the cannon, and recognition comes into my eyes as I realize that I'm trained to use that weapon system. And I go grab Goat's character, and I'm like, "You must for me do this thing." <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm looking to report. Is, is it an emergency? <laughs> yes, it is most urgent. I that got the reports. Thing, I got it. That I'll thing start. mount there, and I'm just gibberish, but like generally pointing at the truck and the weapon. Is, is, are, is, is that <laughs> regulation? Are we are we allowed to do that? We are not in regulation. I have to write the fucking report for this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's be... Alright, so uh, let me try... Let's see if I remember the, the proper rights correctly, and he sort of fumbles along at what I roll tech use. Yes. Uh, all right. I rolled a sixteen uh, out, of, and my intelligence is forty-four. So you you guys managed to muscle it up and hook it in there, and uh, go ahead and add whoever wants to be the designated crewman for it. You find three full belts of auto cannon ammunition because the local pattern of the auto cannon feeds from a belt like a Mark nineteen. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm gonna be the gunner because you need to operate to to use that and I I have that. Yeah. All right. Ricky, Ricky, after you guys pop it in there, he just gets on top of the turret and puts like the, the like the barrel between his legs and he just does that. Eh. <laughs> eh? <laughs> yep. 
And I and I push it up so it knocks into him. <laughs> he just he he's like falls back into the turret ring like a fat kid in an inner tube. Like <laughs> if if we couldn't mount it, I was still going to try and shove it in the back and God willing set up the tripod and then mount the auto cannon in, into, into the, the rear <laughs> so no, not even in the rear like we hit contact be like hold on i got this and stop like 10 feet short and get out and start setting the tripod <laughs> the, oh the get cops the are here <laughs> oh the cops are here wait why do they have a tripod <laughs> oh no <laughs> 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 make a backpack and mount it on Griglack. Yes. <laughs> who, who controls Barter Town? <laughs> Forward, Griglack. <laughs> All right. So you guys managed to get it. Each belt is thirty rounds, and and everything is correct and proper. It's obviously stolen Imperial Guard property. So. After I, I hang an evidence tag very carefully. Oh, the trip card. of course. All right. I understand. <laughs> and Ricky, Ricky just takes his like little like crappy revolver. He's like, yeah, that's nice. But look at this. Found this lane on the side right here. That doesn't yeah. look like an STC pattern. It, 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 you know, beauty is in the eye that holds her, uh, as they say. So, you know, <laughs> you, you, you almost got an idiom right. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think she's I'm gonna so do proud that. of him. <laughs> I think she's gonna do right right here on my uh you know, my leggy bit, uh whatever you call that, the foot part of my leg. I don't know. He's pointing to his you're, ankle. You're, you're, he doesn't know foot? what an ankle is. <laughs> <laughs> his foot elbow. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on my, my foot elbow. Uh right here. So just in case someone needs to, I could shoot with my feet. Alright. <laughs> he cannot do. <laughs> Not Damn it. Well, there's where there's a will, there's a way. Mm -hmm. So after the shootout and rather serious business at a certain bakery, and then securing the scene for reinforcements, uh, which are late in arriving, and after your acquired items to, of course, keep them out of the hands of the criminal element, you finally make it home. Did we ever find the detectives? No. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Oh, that's why we're here? Yeah, that was the initial yeah. call. You finally make hey, it got, home. Hey, we got this bread. Yeah, you, you did get some bread. As much as you can carry. It's let's all, get this bread. Let's get this bread. Um, we'll put a single loaf. A single loaf on the desk in the uh, patrol room. <laughs> <laughs> like a trophy. I take an extra one and give it to the captain. Oh my god. You you do That's make it go over like a rock. Yeah, you, you do finally make it home knowing a few things. Uh one, you guys are lucky sons of bitches who've managed to despite no training to absolutely slay everything in front of you despite the overwhelming odds in zero practical law enforcement training. Two, you've managed so far to bring some peace and relative calm to your watch sector by dismantling the rattling gang of Clan Underhill, or at least for now. After taking your cut of the arsenal, and again, of course, to keep it out of the wrong hands, you are finally relieved on scene by the door kickers of Charlie Squad. After showing off the medals they won, second place in the intramural ass-kicking competition they had, in, they had entered, and sharing none of their ice cream, they congratulate your ability to use department vehicles in the, quote, correct manner. <laughs> before long... Well, you know, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. Before long, you are back to watch Station G-17 where you likely plan to rest before taking advantage of a trip downtown as your captain suggested and the adept had implored before you drove away and made him chase you. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps there you may find answers for why you're all in this predicament. Or at the very least, yeah. get out of G-17 for some time. All right, so Uriah says, okay, okay, we, we must meet with the Sector Lord Administratum. We have to do it. It's our only chance of figuring out why we're you just kind of like Listen, I just need I just need five minutes, and I just take my loaf of bread and I run inside the thing. And I want to go all the way to the captain's office, right. and I want to like try the door to make sure it's open. Is it open? 
The door is open and a fog of cigarette smoke rolls out. All right, well, I kick the door open and I football throw the bread at her. And then I run out back out to the group. She's like, what the fuck? I got your bread. <laughs> <laughs> she just goes, what the fuck? This is how we woo people on my planet. <laughs> we shower them in gifts. <laughs> but I couldn't be above her, so I had to throw it at her. <laughs> if we are to go downtown, then I must wash the truck. <laughs> So I'm going to wash all the dust and rubble off the truck. And her. blood. You you do find you do find little bits of rattling and bread smashed in the treads. <laughs> um just wormed right in there. Hey, save some of that bread. <laughs> <laughs> However, as you are washing the vehicle and the rest of you guys are arguing in the vehicle and Diggs runs off, uh, you know, obviously, uh to to woo the captain with with bread. Um, as, as you must, you notice some tech adepts arriving and they are bringing the fuel and maintenance cart and they begin the rite of refueling. Is that really a thing? Yes. yes. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> it's like a holy full service gas station. Oh, I, man, oh man, no. Yeah. Oh I, man, no. <laughs> I tried to, I tried to change the music and it didn't. Oh, so you have, have to say to play again. now or press exclamation point FS to skip the current song. Okay, got it. So one moment. Uh, exclamation point FS. Yep. Or skip, yeah. There you go. Oh, God. Now I'm in, now I'm in trouble. <laughs> there we go. It's good music. As, they, as the tech adepts come out from the shadows and begin the holy rite of refueling and airing the tires and checking everything. Very, very important. Very I'm important. I'm not a tech out of myself, but we all play our part. Is one of these guys chief maintainer? You notice one of these guys is calm. <laughs> God, get Ricky out of here. <laughs> Wait, no. is it all is it all tech priests? Like they don't like all of the tech like it's just tech priests doing the No, they don't have any it, like perception check. Or... Perception check. Okay, let's see. You're an outsider to the mechanicus, so perception check. Uh 42 my perception is my base awareness is versus a 41. So unless it's any positive modifiers that's a failure. You notice Colm. Mm -hmm. He is a lot bigger than you thought he was. He is he is a mass of machinery and sparks and wires and augmentics, and he moves through the rites without saying anything. The rest appear to be servitors of some capacity or another, or at least very silent adepts. You're not certain. Like they're not wearing are they wearing Mechanicus robes? They are wearing the correct tabards and insignia of the Mechanicus, you think. Okay. I, 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 if I see Calm, do I see him? Perception check. Okay. Yeah, it's not so much see as recognize. Is the uh, I'm no, I do not recognize him. Uh, I, I, it's 82. He just looks like everybody else to him. Yeah. Part of the background. I, I just go up to one of them and uh, I take out my crappy revolver. I'm like, hey, can one of you guys mansplain this, please? Because I need it fixed. Agility check. Uh, I got a nine. All right. You just barely are able to dodge a mechadendrite snapping out to take it from you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Colm slowly turns towards you. And you notice beneath the cowl of his robes are a bunch of birds. And he is slowly yeah. reaching into his robe pockets and pulling out little pieces of bread dusted in something and feeding the birds with mechadendrites. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, no, he just goes like, oh, nice, you got those flying things. He goes, I did as you asked. That's great, man. You do, you're a good person, Calm. Even when you're not a good person. I think we're all good people deep down inside. He raises one hand slowly, which you see is entirely metal. And he points at one of the servitors. And he goes, I took care of what you asked. Oh? And he looks over at, at the servitor. 
you recognize it's the old lady. Oh, no! Yeah, and and uh, he just goes like, yeah, she really needed a job. See, I'm telling you, call me <laughs> good man. I know how to... <laughs> hey, just let me know, you know, if, if something happens to me, you know, I, I, don't, I don't mind cleaning floors. I used to do that at, at an office I was breaking into once. It was like a long story, but... like Calm yeah, slowly like, reaches <laughs> out with both hands and touches your skull and is running his fingers over the bumps in your head. And Can you hear a science check? Yes. Just do it. Fail. You don't detect anything, but your gut tells you that this is just weird mechanic and shit. Yeah. I, I, don't under, I don't understand these types. They're weird. And then he goes, oh, uh, one last thing before, uh, after you're done. At some point, you got to get yourself a hat, like a fedora or, you know, something something that looks like, you know, when you're when you're out of your your armory, so that you wear it at a slant, people people know to respect you. He run, finishes running his fingers over your head, and he goes, your brain. No. Is insufficient. Aw. And he goes back I, I, to working. I, I, yeah, he just he, he goes. <laughs> I never really was much of a fisher guy. Uh, I never really got that good at it because all the water was basically just sludge on my planet. But some people did try fishing, so I get it. He he's <laughs> completely ignored you. No, he wasn't even talking to you. He was just basically talking yeah. to that floating eye. <laughs> and then he looks at the floating <laughs> eye and he goes, "You know what? Yo, he needs a hat. I need to find this floating eye a hat at some point." I hear hat and I kind of lean in. <laughs> yeah, you just hear the Where's impact. The <laughs> you just hear the impact of air wrenches as Calm takes the tires off, rotates them, and puts them back on, and begins well, all of the fish. sacred chanting. He is chanting in technolingua. It, like it just sounds like a modem. It sounds like, like modem. So, yeah, it sounds like modem <laughs> sounds and like old floppy machines going off as he's like doing all of his tech rights. Incense bellows out that smells like ballastol and cosmoline. He is just so, working. So Colm's chants are the floppatron. Correct. Nice. And he is he is moving in rhythm with his own weaving of technolingua as he's pacifying the machine spirit. He also picks a piece of the bread out of the tread and feeds it to the birds. Hell yeah. What is, the bird, do what is the bird doing? They are, are remarkably calm. They lace that bread. <laughs> it's almost like someone gave Calm a bunch of dope. We don't, we still don't know do what kind that? of dope it was. I, hey, look, I, he goes, I, yeah, this is weird. Hey, they're working on the carbonator right now. So, you know, maybe maybe once they're done with that, we'll uh, be able to take this thing back out onto the road, you know? Combs head slowly turns independent of where he's standing. Of course it does. <laughs> like yeah. the exorcist. And yeah. he says, oh. be gone. Five minutes are required for this process. Yeah, cool. He lights up a cigarette and just walks away. <laughs> <laughs> just, all right, I'll, I'll not fuck with him. Do, 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 do. <laughs> um, Calm, before you leave the vehicle, Deputy, uh, Calm stops you. Yes. He points at the auto cannon. Uh, transporting for safekeeping, it is evidence. You see his augmetics light up, and he scans it. Missing inventory. Not ours. Now it is. <laughs> so, yes. Z, uh, marks on Zavafen indicates that it was Imperial God. Correct. Destined for off-planet, made here. Ah, Excellent. So you know of these things. Ah, uh, we have Das Gefinden auf den, and he just goes into Krieger. <laughs> um, Colm nods and gives you a spray of Holy Ungwent and goes, You are charged with its safekeeping. If you shall fail in this charge, the birds will find you. Doped up birds will find you. Most, uh, most excellent. Dankeschön. He goes back to his rights. 
So, what are you guys planning to do in your downtime other than get ready to leave? Colm will need a few minutes, so you have enough time to check on Frog if you wish. Um, yeah, Uriah's just going to try to review, uh, try to figure out, like, what the procedure and etiquette is for meeting a sector-level administratum official. I mean, he hasn't even met planetary level <laughs> leadership. Hyas Aversal was like ju sub, like judge of like a sub prefecture or some shit. All the manual tells you to do is to seek higher level manuals and intermediaries, and that the fact that you would ever have to interface with one of them is so unthinkable that you find it under the catastrophic events section. Yeah, so basically, I just waste my downtime trying to find find it out. Sounds about right. Anyone else? I go uh, press my uniform and polish my boots. Bring lack practice with gun chucks. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like on the gun range, just like. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's he's just in the uh, in the vehicle yard. So he's just oh god. So he's like Bruce Leeing it out there in the vehicle, just bay. Just <laughs> 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 All right. Um, Diggs, uh, did you did you intend to visit more bread upon the? Uh, Captain, or speak with her? No, the rest of the bread's mine. I understand. I would, uh... You paying tribute to the boss, see? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see if I can get on some kind of box and see how long my wait is for my message to get out. I think I said a queue my first day here. It was like, Grants is queue six months. <laughs> All right. Uh, you managed to send it to the Planetary Astra Telepathica, and they said your response to your inquiry will be five months. How do they get packages here so fast? <laughs> it's almost like they sent it with the same ship. What else was on that ship? Hey, guys, we That's need to find this ship. <laughs> All right. So before long, your vehicle is ready and fueled, and the captain is waiting. But the captain seems to keep a very big distance from Calm. She is not smoking, but she is wearing her battle armor from the Cadian Guard. I salute smartly. She returns the salute very crisply and goes, You guys beat the ever-loving shit out of the Underhill gang. We're gonna I take- at her. He- she- she like does this. She just like covers an eye. <laughs> and I, and, and I do the same thing like thinking it's salute. <laughs> <laughs> so she- she says, We- you, you beat the absolute shit out of the Underhill gang. They've all gone to ground. We're taking Charlie's squad, we're taking the flamethrowers, and we're gonna burn them out of their holes. You got them on the run. By the time you guys get back, they're done in Sector 17. Every hotel, every front, every location we found. She leans in and adds, We found the detectives. Are they okay? Turns out they were grinding them into the bread. Ah. I eat another piece of bread. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, shame. Should, you know, take so it's a our enemies are giants. <laughs> <laughs> corpse rations like, are no, not... No, makes good bread, man. Yeah, corpse starch rations are not uncommon in, yeah, but in the that's setting. Going, but, that, but that's going through proper processing. Yes, yeah, this we, is... Uh, proper holy rights. This is unsanctioned. Yes. And we should likely... Uh, Saves that loaf of bread in the patrol room for the funeral. <laughs> listen, uh, listen. I am sanctioned. I'll just sanction it. There, the bread sanctioned. Amis no. day. I just, I get the imagination are, of this. Are you, are you impersonating a, a an ordained priest? No, I'm impersonating somebody who's sanctioned with uh, the psycho organization. <laughs> but you're not a, you're a, you're a mutant. You can't, you can't. You can't shepherd anyone's souls. I can't scramble brain on him. <laughs> <laughs> what scramble brain spell? Uh, I was gonna, what was that blip one that makes you yeah, forget just, something oh, for yeah. a second? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that, that's that's really. <laughs> so so he starts red, getting red mad, box. and you just go, <laughs> and he. Oh, hopefully, hopefully I do this instead of exploding the demons. But... <laughs> You're like, I'll show you, and you burst into flames. Yeah, it's like <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Probably were. Ah! <laughs> that would be hey, so. Let's yeah, let's see this. 
Let's roll them bones. Let's see if Zinch is feeling funny today. Yeah, <laughs> it's always he always Zinch. is. I also love yeah. the idea of the bread being lowered into the casket in the ground, <laughs> and then like the fucking twenty-one gun salute and like the bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, yeah, I know what you're gonna do, and then a bird comes down and swoops. <laughs> <laughs> And All right, so it's, it's, anyway. it's called Deja Vu. Yeah, I, I know the power. So right, what? So, so what, you got to roll to cast it, though, right? Yes. Um. So if I already have the threshold, does I still have to roll for it? You already have the threshold? Explain. Yeah, I have five plus... Uh, okay, I need to roll at least a one on a dice. I'll just do one dice. Yep. Well, because if you roll a nine, it triggers Phenomena. Oh, I rolled an eight, so luckily not. All right. Yeah, you start Let's... freaking out about, are you doing... And it's like... Yeah, I, I rolled a 98, so it's like, what were you talking about? Oh, the bread. It's people. Don't eat it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, right. You got different bread. Yes, course, I got... You're not I a got cannibal. A... Nope. So, um... I, I, oh, and he, he didn't even realize the captain was standing there, so Ricky just goes, oh, captain, and he goes to salute, but on the hand coming back down, a cigarette comes out from behind his ear and he puts it in his mouth. <laughs> that is smooth. Smooth. <laughs> All right, so Colm finishes it up and he's, he, uh, he comes from behind the vehicle and the captain just like leaves as soon as he comes into view. And she goes, remember what I told you, you know what to look for. And she just walks off and lights a cigarette. What Col were we looking for? And something she told deputy. Oh, yeah. I was like, did I blank out that whole situation? I think you were eavesdropping, maybe, but yeah. Yeah, you yeah, did. He was eavesdropping. I was eavesdropping, but then I randomly got started yelled at by some kind of nerd. So I was like, God damn it! Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I shouldn't say things. Yeah, because your character like slunk off, like Ooh, you know, mm -hmm. um, yeah, through the glass. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah. Um. So <laughs> again, this is a sitcom. So. Um, Colm says, the vehicle is prepared, its spirit is hungry. I just fed it. <laughs> yeah, he goes like, you did a good job, Colin. Uh, I think the vehicle's got the matrimony, it's ready to go. <coughs> Agility check, what? Mike. What, what were you trying to say there? Ag Ceremony. Agility check, yeah. Mike. <laughs> uh, actually, nope, not this time. Colm snatches the shitty gun out of your hand. Hey! <laughs> and he he cocks his head and looks at it. He opens it, he closes it. He brings it up close and smells it, seemingly, before handing it back and saying, unproven pattern, results inconclusive. Test data required. Alright, I'll let you know how many people I kill with it. Excellent. Stupendous. And he slowly just walks away, but his head is watching you as he does. Yeah, and I just, I just like, I, I go like, Colin's a nice guy. He just, you know, he's got the brain problems sometimes. I have the brain problems too, but you know, that's why I feel like we're best friends. Oh, I will I'll... give you the biggest honor, and if you fall in battle, I will make sure he makes you one of his forever friends. Oh, sweet. <laughs> that's what you're calling the Servitoruses. That's their forever friends. <laughs> Praise right. the the the, uh, the guy above. You, like, if you make me into a sweet gun, I'm I'm down. I was like, that. do I do the te like the mechanicus or or the emperor? And I was like, yeah, the everyone. Wheel. Yeah. yeah, it's like I don't know which ones. Which. Mechanicus <laughs> gang signs. Yeah, Imperium gang signs. As <laughs> as as Colm walks away and the servitors start to follow, you notice the old lady servitor just looks like a corpse stretched across metal. And in one of her hands is still the letter. Oh. Oh. So, now that that nightmare is over. <laughs> she, dude, she's living a better life than she would have lived by herself in that apartment. That's where I stand on that issue. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, her apartment was flooded with blood, so that makes good sense. <laughs> she was just going to, like, be alone up there and die. So I think, you know, fuck it. She's robot lady now. You could have gave her like a, she's an Colin's exoskeleton. girlfriend, or sorry, uh, grandma. Yeah, grandma. Colin's grandma. <laughs> Everyone needs a grandma. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He's, He's starting a collection. 
Oh. Also, my character's not mentally stable, in case you guys are wondering why he has, he's cool with all this. He's not very... I mean, you guys probably yeah. figured it out. Oh, yeah. no, I've, I've noticed because every time something happens, you make a little quick dialogue to yourself when no one's... Like, when people aren't paying attention to you, you're just like, yeah, man, that's why I stand there on that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, he, does, like... he, he just keeps saying stuff like, well, yeah, basically, you know, I'm, I'm probably one of the smartest guys. I mean... You know, we have Charlie Squad, you know, and that, you know, they're like C's and C's get degrees, but D's get the B's, which B is definitely a higher grade than C. So I think we're doing pretty good. All right. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On that note, let's get yeah. in the truck. Yeah. Let's so, get in the truck before my character keeps talking. So you all get in the vehicle, you pull out into the city traffic. The sun is coming up. It is melting the fog and rain away. As you pull away from Watch Station G17, you find yourself to the bridge before long. The long span, as it is called. It connects the island of G-17 to the mainland in the big city. The big city stretches into the heavens, growing taller by every year. Rumor has it it will be a hive before too long, perhaps in a few generations. Buildings built on buildings built on buildings. The old on top of the older. At the end of the bridge, however, there is this mild traffic jam and some very rough looking PDF guardsmen in a guard shack checking every vehicle. Before long, it is your turn up to the turnstile. Sergeant, they... I think you know how to deal with these with this sort. Slowly roll the window down. Yeah, because these are like weakened <laughs> warriors to you. <laughs> That is true. That that they are. So you you. All right. He walks up, and I preempt him by asking for his papers. Dein Papier in bitte. Oh my God! So <laughs> he, he he's like, you're police. I step out of the vehicle and stand up in my Krieger great coat. <laughs> I I get up to the turret mount, but like not, but you know, right below it. <laughs> Okay, yeah, they're produced. The I look at the through the window like this. <laughs> yeah. I just, I, I just, I'm smoking with, and I offer Greg like a cigarette. Oh, oh my God! Does Greg like take the take the cigarette? Greg like take. What does he do? Eat it. <laughs> Hold on, I need to change the background ambiance because the that, song that probably it. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. he's like. Dry leaves, good. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah. He, he doesn't doesn't pick up that there's a filter end, and he puts the wrong end in his mouth. <laughs> and then he just smokes it. All right. So, as you were stopped on the bridge, um, deputy, you have you have just gotten out of the vehicle. Diggs is in the window, just looking weird. Griglack is eating a cigarette. Ricky is smoking one, and the adept is under the gun. So you've demanded the man's papers. Yes. He just goes, eh, but, eh, but, and he goes inside the booth. <laughs> Chad. That'll show him. <laughs> Aim the auto cannon at the booth. <laughs> nope, don't do that. That would be bad. You, I'm on standby, Sergeant. So a moment later, a guy with sergeant stripes comes out. And he smells like cheap gin, bad aftershave, and a lot of cigarettes. And he goes, show me your papers. I produce the pass. He and then I dress him down for 15 minutes about the quality of the guard that was at the gate. His uniform was out of regulations. It was not tailored properly. I spotted rust on his firearm. I'm hype manning this. On the toe of his left boot. You said, left boot. <laughs> so you're just behind it, like throwing. I'm still, shit. I'm still in the vehicle, but saying it loud enough where you can kind of hear it, like. Wah, wah, wah. So he's like, there was scuff on his boot. Oh my god! That's so the, right. So the the guy just it, it it looks like he's not he he doesn't know what to do, and he goes, he looks at the pass and he's like, I got to check this in. And he goes into the booth and just locks the door. Do what you must. You hear Vox and radio traffic inside. What is with the booth? There's Do not worry, gentlemen. I have this all under control. 
He comes out a minute I later. Make, like the okay sign to the, my guys in the truck. Like, yeah, we're good. So, <laughs> so he comes out a minute later and he goes, checks out. Have a safe trip. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, you tell your man that I've seen better looking shit at the Denny's. Take my pass and get back in the truck. <laughs> can, can I uh, can I roll scrutiny on that? See if he was like throwing in some edge, like ha ha, you're fucked now, buddy. Yeah, please do. I don't give a shit about the planetary guard. Uh, well, you should. They they still have heavy weapons <laughs> and tanks. What is that one? Perception plus. It's just perception. Perception. Uh, I failed, unfortunately. You, all, all you know about these guys is that these are the guys who are unfit for the Lord Governor's own glorious brigades of warriors he ships off world. I mean, these are the cast offs and the has beens and the almost were, the never was. And Ones that should have been our jobs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. They're, they're just like bitterness personified. They, they are second class guard and they know it. So. As you are free to go, you notice as you fire up the vehicle, they stop all traffic behind you. <laughs> Excellent. However, in addition to all of the traffic being stopped behind you, you soon notice as you're rolling up, vehicle traffic has stopped in the middle of the bridge, three miles in. It is an enormous span of bridge. And far above the turbulent waters below, you noticed a pileup in the middle of the bridge blocking it. You guys, oh, no. you guys are here. I'm not putting the vehicle up there because I'm afraid of breaking this model that Law's made. You guys are there. There is no way around. There is a vehicle overturned in what looks like a fire. Uh, I rolled a natural. I rolled a natural one on a sci science test. Is anything pinging? Yes. Oh, no. oh god, guys! No. Okay, okay, you see me freaking out. Listen, something's weird. What? What do you mean something's weird? Uh, the 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 warp really... is here. The warp is here. So the warp is everywhere. So the scriptures tell us only faith can guard us. That, I'm saying in this moment on this bridge there is warp activity. Yeah. So and, do do you just yeah. like filter the crazy out of the air? I've never seen you read. <laughs> I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do that. It's there's the, the, the warp thing I talk about all the time. He's like, I don't know why you need fancy magic powers. There's like warp over here, and I think on the other side too. There's like a whole bunch. He's pointing at the water. <laughs> yeah, that's warp. That's warp. That's warp. Okay. <laughs> so, say like not a big deal. I, I drink it all you. the time. What course of action should we take? I don't really know what to do now. I sense warp. <laughs> That's All right. A, you sense it's in front of you, and it feels like it would burn you if you touched it. Uh, uh, well, we should find a we should find an ordained cleric and, and <laughs> exercise this this evil. No, nah, he's an ordained uh, cleric, right? No, I didn't he's say a, he's the I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't wipe his memory. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> All right. I very <laughs> you don't casually have to worry. I'd put the truck into minutes. reverse, grind every gear along the way, and slowly start creeping backwards. You start noticing that at the far end of the bridge, they are starting to release vehicles toward you. These motherfuckers. Um, I'm about to do Firestorm. I'll risk it. <laughs> you mean <laughs> oncoming traffic has resumed? Yes. Or they are in our lane coming towards. They're, yeah, they're, they're no, they're just coming in. Behind they're us. they're coming in behind you. They've released that traffic that they were holding, and <laughs> it looks almost like they intend to box you in. Hmm. Excellent. Oh no! Oh no! I think this is a setup. Rattle them, uh, boys. <laughs> I'm getting on the turret. I'm putting out that wreckage in case a demon comes out of it. That's very possible. I'm going to, um... <laughs> so you're just like, you're like, shenanigans! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, Everybody sure in traffic is, is sitting there, and then the fucking hatch just like, ka and he gets up on the machine and wrecks it. <laughs> How large is the vehicle behind me? Um, it, 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 it is a, it is a truck full of potatoes. It's a truck. Okay. Full of potato substitute, substitute, probably. If you want to stop the cars from coming at us from behind before they reach us, 
Just fire a couple warning shots right at him. <laughs> okay. I, I... <laughs> That'll stop traffic pretty fast. Uh, the drivers start honking behind you. Oh, too late. I continue uh, backing. <laughs> I get very scared, <laughs> and I'm I manifest this the div, div, divination discipline glimpse. Uh, all it does is give me a plus three to any single skill test, but uh, it I just like the words it says where it says like peer into the future, sensing in a manifold web of different possibilities and potential outcomes. So I'm like, Whoa. all right, let's I'm, let's I'm Doctor let's, Strange right now. <laughs> let's apply that creatively as a DM should. Seven, six, and a five plus nine. You see that fate pulls you forward. I think we should go forward. Forward? It might burn, but I think we gotta go forward. Then forward we shall go, and I hit the lights and put it into drive. Okay. Hello. Oh, oh, okay. Um, are you using any siren or loud? Go loud. Yeah. More witnesses, the more, you know. We, I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we, we'll, we'll, we'll hit everything. We, we. Okay, so you're just hitting the riot sirens and everything else and just we plowing forward. Just fist on the console and wipe it right. Hit every button. <laughs> It, it even plays the siren from Ghostbusters. I tried to get them to put that on my work truck, and they wouldn't. Oh. I do have the European ambulance siren, though. Oh, Nobody that's knows what confused. the fuck is going on when I hit that one. Get the siren head one. Oh, my God. All right, so as you fire all that up, you notice. Uh, you know what? Um, Who's nearest the Vox? Uh, where's the box mounted in the truck? It's probably by the turret. So that would be me. Uh, yeah, perception check. Awareness check or straight perception? Let's do awareness. All right. I pulled my last long last off my back. The, uh, 45, unless there's a positive modifier, I have failed. The obviousness of the message, uh, whiting out the channel starts blaring on and you, you hear a few emergency tones start playing. <laughs> but your Vox is turned way down. You might want to turn it up. All right, I, I turn up the Vox and get distracted from watching the turret to check this out. You hear the emergency tones playing of the Planetary Defense Force. And it says, this is a test. This is only a test. This channel will be offline in all relevant frequencies for the next three zero minutes and then white out noise they're turning off our radio they're cutting off our ability to call reinforcements sergeant we need to do something i am the reinforcement so all right so you you've got all the lights on you got vehicles behind you like going what the fuck you got vehicles in front of you that are just stopped what are you gonna do you just sitting there with all your lights on Start no no we, we put it into one low and i'm going forward okay driving check Yes. I feel like there's bombs on the bridge. <laughs> Do you like my You car? told me go forward. I, I did. I believe the man that made my fucking eyes bleed. Because he made my fucking <laughs> eyes bleed. <laughs> you know, that could happen again. <laughs> he goes, you know, boys, when I'm in a catch-23 situation, I like to make sure I'm well-equipped. And I get my revolver out and then my 36. shotgun. And it is a agility, right? Agility is Correct. 40, 36. I passed. All right. You uh, you managed to nudge the vehicles out of the way. One guy was like, hey, what are you doing? As you just push him off the edge of the bridge. <laughs> so he's like, hey, what are you for? <laughs> oh, no. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, he just goes. And people behind you are like, cool. Um, We're not super people. <laughs> we can't stop it. As you get right up playing the sirens and everything right up to the bus. I'm going to need you all to roll for initiative. Um, 18. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Grig like uh, fast. Said, yeah. You're, all right. Okay. All right. Hold uh, on. Like... Hold on. Let me, uh, deputy. 10. All right. Mike. Uh, a nine on the dice. And then my agility for initiative is twice. So it'd be uh, eight. Plus All right, so 17. Um, 17, yes. My, or, uh, go. Five. Wow. Um, Diggs. 13. Yeah, one. And Griglack. 18. All right, Griglack goes first. So what exactly, so 
what exactly is it, there is, all you can see is an overturned vehicle in the center span that is on fire there are civilians that are starting to panic and run but you can't see from what something was bad over here i did say that earlier right yeah you you were like there's spooky that's all you well, can say i was say. just making fun of people in the cab just in case shit happens i did say something yeah you you oh, okay. you let them know you had like three or four spoops but then you were like, we must go forward. <laughs> and they were like, okay, <laughs> bleeding eyes guy. <laughs> okay, so there's a map now. Got it. I was looking elsewhere. Um, okay, so this is us. Um, yes. And this is the overturn. So I will. Yeah, you can put your characters. Sword. Yeah, you can put your characters uh, anywhere within five, five meters of the vehicle. Five yeah, I'm all right. Turn. I got to upgrade. So we'll just say probably, the probably the oncoming that. lane across the span is rolling fast. People are looking at you, panicked. Um, so I will. Attention, citizens, calm down. <laughs> Attention, citizen. Is there an intercom on this thing? Yes, there is a public address system. Okay. Real shitty one, like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you, I don't think you guys have really used it, so you know, it, it, it's probably gonna be like, and, and people will just, ah. yeah, they'll, they'll be like, what? <laughs> it's just all fucked up. Uh, so let's see, the move is. I have no idea where my token is. Oh dear. I got um, lost it. There's oh. Grigling, the Rattling. Um, no, you should have a whole bag full of them, Diggs. Yeah, I can start throwing them at you. Yeah, throw one at me. I will. Uh... Oh, he he doesn't have it. So Where did they go? Between these cars. I think it what? fell off through the void. <laughs> what did you do? I think I went to the warp place. Laslock fancy. Well, no. oh, I found a lot of Laslock. No, here you can have that astropath model for now. I'll okay. try to find where fancy hat guy went. I just did a full move between those cars. All right, cool. So Griglack has moved. Uh, next is Mike. Where's Ricky going? Okay, uh, I'm gonna get on the public address system. Okay. And I'm going to basically uh, say, "This is the uh, uh, this is the law enforcement. Uh, we're just gonna get oh, into a no. big gunfight battle uh, up north uh, in front of the bridge. So abandon your cars or abandon your wives uh, or, <laughs> or lives or whatever." Cause uh, just abandon and run. Just get the get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You notice oncoming traffic. If anything, people did not need much an excuse to hit the gas, but they are. So you yeah, just hear yeah. engines gunning as people are just screaming. And I'm like, and I go, hey guys, don't worry, I fixed it. And then I'm gonna move up to. I, I'm gonna drop the phone really quick, and I'm gonna try to move up and assist uh, Griglack from behind. It's all right, like, cool. You know, yeah, 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 cool. All tactical and shit. Hold over behind. All right, cool. Come, crazy man. <laughs> if they if they try to shoot at Grig like, I'm gonna do like a Max Payne dive to the side around him, and like shoot everyone. <laughs> all right, Diggs, you're up. Yeah. Um, I don't see a threat yet. Not yet. I'm still under. I have gaze until I use a skill test. Or a glimpse. What happened to our Torah? Uh, it, I, I do not want to put it on the bridge. Okay, that's fair. Because I, I just... It physically went away, and I'm like, I know we had a model for that. I know, and that's the problem with tabletop simulators. Shit just disappears. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, you're good. You're it's, good. It's in the ether. So I'm going to do two half actions. All right. Uh, seven and a six, which both work. So I'm, I'm pulling from the warp lucky so i can re-roll a bad roll if i fuck up before the end of my next turn and uh unnatural aim so now my rifle is really good and that is my turn <laughs> <laughs> all right so he's just like in the passenger seat and i look over and he goes and bears down <laughs> no, like no what you seconds. do is you see me grab like this shitty ass homemade dagger that's on my neck and i go Huh, and like you just see my eyes glow a little bit and a little bit of like shakiness and then like a little like a little four leaf clover <laughs> all right cool yeah. so i'm gonna stop looking at him because last time that happened i went nuts <laughs> all right however right after you bear down a man a, a man floats up 
on Eldrick Powers from behind the bus, and he sets himself down, and he draws a blazing sword. Oh, shit, I saw him on the black ship. He's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hey, Gary! Hey, 2027, woo! Whatever the yeah. hell year it is. Yeah. Oh, it, magic sword. He, he, yeah, Greg Lack, it's a fucking wizard, man! <laughs> I want that. His eyes Greg are- Greg I want that. I want that sword, Greg Lack. His eyes are blazing with just hellish energy. And he points. And he goes, All right, boys. Extra pay for the Chromanovan. Do I recognize the armor he's got on? No. Okay, so it's not Imperial Guard pattern? No. But it is armor. So he has made his turn. He actually floated up. Yeah, that's rather distressing. I lean over to Araya and go, You know, most people picked Pyromancy. I just didn't see the appeal. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, everyone gets you to light their cigarettes. It's really boring. You're hot and all you, the time. You do that POI, POI stuff, but no one really gives a shit. You're like, cool, go away. All right. Uh, next up is Deputy. All right. <laughs> I'm going to open the door of the Torox, stand on the running board, brace the four barrel shotgun, and let fly all barrels. All right. Oh, I'm already in the right tab. I've got to physically move over to my dice. That is a 24, and my ballistic is 52. And you're within range. So, start applying them damage and hit locations. Alright. Damage for this was... Because that's three of the barrels hitting. 1d10 plus four. Okay. Do you admit I'm a oh. little scared. I've got a one, which makes first damage five. I've got a six, which makes second damage ten. And I've got a four, which makes third damage eight. Alright. Hit location. Yeah. That was a shitty roll. There we go. Good roll. Uh, that is left leg. All right. And I'm going to apply them Enter in order. Masks. Okay. And left leg again. <laughs> All right. The, you, you, you brace and pull the triggers. You're almost knocked on your ass, but you're starting to love this fucking shotgun. You see sparks and fire as it just ricochets off of the vehicle, but you do see some of it catches him in the leg and it staggers him back. The shit in center mass knocks him back further. You see a little bit of blood, but he points if at it you. it bleeds, we can kill it. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't let them point at you. That's the worst. But he points at you and he goes, oh, you're fun. I, did, I said don't <laughs> let him do that. All right, uh, next is Goat. All right, um, I, do I have line of sight on the witch? Uh, where are you? He's I'm in on, the auto turret. The turret remember? Yeah, he's in the turret. You do. All right, full burst, uh, half aim, full burst on the witch. It must be purged, and let me turn rhythm bot down a little bit. Just a second. Yeah, that's, any that's other, fine. Are there any special modifiers to hit other than the short range and half aim? No. Okay, so this is versus ballistic skill plus 20. My ballistic skill is 37, so... I roll a 70, so uh, basically uh, Uriah just swivels the thing and he just starts screaming and depresses the trigger and, <laughs> just, boom, 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 and just misses wildly. Alright, so... This is building really sad back there. You start shooting as you're turning by gripping the gun in the ring. Yep. So you just start shooting as it's going and you're like, I've got this! As you just start putting rounds everywhere and it just sparks are flying and there's explosions and shrapnel. However, as soon as that happens, the Psyker gives a look like, Really? <laughs> <laughs> like he expected more however climbing up from the side of the bridge come four rattling commandos carrying cut down rifles and coming yeah, up behind I you come four more I knew it they're all out to get us <laughs> well four more what the and one fuck? fell off and it was yeah strange. well no they're, they're, they're climbing up <laughs> They're, they're wearing all black. These guys look a lot more serious. They are not like going, you know, running around. These guys look former guard. Oh, God, which means they're snipers. And they... Well, not necessarily. They might be tunnel men. 
Well, oh, that's, yeah. I don't know what's worse. <laughs> tunnel rats. They're like, we're gonna cut your feet. Um, <laughs> they they don't say anything, but they take up positions and rack their weapons. This is what we call in the guard a crossfire. You have you fallen into my in ambush. The... All right, well, so like we had much of a choice. I know, I know. It's a dick a thing to do. Nice to those yeah, no, guys. That's, dude, that is the way you that's the way you fucking GM the shit. It yeah. Yeah, no, it's cool. No, you put people in a trap and you give them a flamethrower and say, "All right, burn it down." Yeah, we just back up, go to another bridge, they're like, "Well, fuck." <laughs> <laughs> you just you just you're like, "I got this." You put it in reverse and just drive off the bridge and you're like, "No, nah, thanks, not for us." And the guys like, "Come on." Go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Griglack, go. Uh, I don't think I can quite get to Strange Man on bus. Strange Man with Glow Sword. Oh, that's right. I do want that sword, don't I? Um, <laughs> I will charge up to there. All right. I, he's a bit too far away. Got it. So you're you're charging up. You're just like leaping over cars and shit. Griglack is coming. He wants that sword. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Swiggity swooty coming for that booty. Yeah. All right, Mike, you're up. Uh, noticing that there are these rat guys coming, and I'm like, that's right, you get that fucking wizard bitch. And then I uh, run over to uh, take cover. Uh, well, like, I guess there's a thing right there. Oh, uh, I fall <laughs> off the bridge and die. No, um, I'm like, I'm going to take cover. Ah! Yeah. I might uh, get on Vox with that tech priest. Hey, I got it on the skull for you. I promised the guy. <laughs> Okay, yeah, uh, I'm gonna take cover right there where that, like, divider is. All right. And uh, I'm just gonna start blasting at these uh, group over here. All right. Well, anyway, I started blasting. Uh, both the shotgun and the pistol. All right, so you're just akimbo doing it. Yeah. All right, yes. roll yes. them bones. You got it. Oh, come on, I'm on the wrong side of the table. All right, here we go. Uh, 20, so that's a hit. Uh, what is your ballistic skill? 53. That is three hits. So uh, that's the shotgun and two with the pistol. Mm -hmm. So let's do the shotgun damage first. All right. So my shotty, which is right over here. So I got a five and an eight uh, plus two. And it goes, oops, roll. So 13 plus two for the shotgun. Mm -hmm. So you got and, a, uh, yeah. and then also I aimed, it was head. Okay. Uh, was the hit. Hit location for the shotgun. All right, so this first guy, you blow his head clean fucking off. Like, it's it's a clean, <laughs> just scissoring, just <laughs> gone, and just geyser. <laughs> he is deleted. Okay. And then the other one's a pistol. Yep. Uh, and that one is uh, 1d10 uh, plus 3l. I. Impact. I. Mm -hmm. Impact, Sorry. yeah. Blood force trauma. L for laser beams. Wee, wee, wee. All right. My eyes. So five on that? Yep. And you're aiming and for the, the head? Location. Or, oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't I didn't say to aim anything. I'm just shooting. All right. And uh, foot. <laughs> you shoot him in the foot. All right. However. Right, uh, right foot, yeah. You notice a spark is beneath his clothing. He is wearing full body armor, except for helmets. They have nice little skull caps. Okay, perfect. Uh, he, he takes note of this, and he goes, All right, you fucks. Uh, and for his uh, uh, action, or what was it? Uh, what's it? What's the action it's called? The little small ones? Half action? Full uh, half action? action? Ha yeah, his half action to reload. All right, cool. So you just break the, in the, the shotgun open and, yeah, and sending shells yeah, flying. he's got a rapid reload skill. Yeah, yeah, so you're doing the doom guy thing. We're just like, boom! <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, cool. Cool. Um, so, Diggs. It's my turn. It is your turn, Mr. Psychic Boy. I obviously don't want to mess with a psyker. That seems rude to be psyker versus psyker. That's that doesn't seem okay. It might be it's like hating on your own type of people. And you know, there's only so many of us, and the he rest did. of us get sacrificed. So, like, why kill the ones that aren't sacrificed? He did scream out extra for the Chromanovan. He did call out your background. Well, fuck that guy. I'm I'm <laughs> what's the max bonus you can get on a shot? Uh that's a good question. Because you... currently I'm under Glimpse, which gives me a plus 30 to any skill test. I'm not sure if shooting's a skill test. 
It is a sk- um, well. It's not a skill test. It's an. A- it's based on attribute. Yeah, I mean it, it's. It, right, but it is called deal, weapon skill. But yeah, you're gonna have to use your divine shot for that. You know what? But here, okay. I'm gonna divine shot it. I'm gonna throw like deputies in the front seat, still driving, right? Yeah. Well, he he leaned out, but yeah, I, I've got like one foot on the fucking floorboard, the running board, like RoboCop. Yeah. Dun, 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 so, dun, 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 <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna scoot up next to uh, Uriah, who's up in the turret, and I'm gonna just kind of like lean out my my sniper rifle and just with one hand be like this in front of him, and be like, I'm sure I see where like I'm looking through the front window at the at the psyker, and I'm just gonna pop one towards his head. Hopefully, this divine shot actually operates as I like, kill everyone in the band. So let's do this. You have to manifest a divine shot first. I am. All right. Uh, let's do it is divine and the it's whole 15. vehicle the whole vehicle just starts floating off like it like disappears <laughs> son of a bitch okay there's one nine in there oh Seven. Okay. oh boy um, let me roll for fucking perils perils the war i'm gonna use a fate point phenomena do 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 phenomena do 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 Phenomena. Okay, 18. 18 for perils. Oh, so only modest perils of the warp today. Yeah. Let's, let's... let's... Well, I, I originally rolled a 97, but I just burnt a fate. Ooh, sure yeah, that, that, that would, uh... <laughs> I don't... <laughs> but yeah, I... They're now hot dogs. I go like this, and it happens, and I'm like, all right, I'll roll damage, I guess, because I'm aiming for the head. It's all right, so, yeah, three, so hold on. 18 for psychic... Phenomena. Phenomena. Is ooh, I rolled a ten for the gun damage. One second. Okay. Who can see Diggs right now? Um, I'm. I'm. I'm could, he could see my arm. Yeah, and deputy's in the front seat. Yeah, no one's I, technically I, looking at me right now. But it's your call if I'm looking at him or not. I, yeah, I would say same, right same with me. I, I would say you guys are rel- like in your peripheral. Okay. You have all forgotten something trivial. <laughs> it has been erased uh, from your memory. So just choose something and write it down. That'll be funny. Just let me know after the game. I like. Forgot to I'm brush his mustache today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you've forgotten something trivial. Now you were saying for damage and hit location. I rolled a ten, so I think that's divine fury, right? Correct. So let's roll again. Mm-hmm. And that's an eight. So that's eighteen plus. Long last three pen one. So 21 plus one pen. Divine shot to the head. All right. And you... I scream back, the Chromanova! <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, <laughs> Chromanova! Everyone was like, I forgot my keys. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, there's like a small like wave of energy, and it's like, man, did I... Did I shine my boots today? <laughs> yeah, just everyone, everyone has that weird feeling of, what am I forgetting? Oh yeah, firefight. And... As you scream that, you see the guy's head pop, and it he, explodes. <laughs> however, as his head pops, you notice flies and maggots crawl out of it and take flight. And he do crumpl- I have any idea what that is? No, but you notice he just crumples to the ground. But it leaves you cool. with a sick taste of ash in your mouth. Can I forget that trivial taste of ash in my mouth? No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Does his sword crumple into the ground? And then I, I kind of like jiggle my gun back down past the right. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> knock him. I knocked just, him in the balls once. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's funny that just gun comes up and it's like, And a long ass Lasga just went right in front of where his hands are and he goes. <laughs> All right. Hold on. All right, deputy, you're up. Your shotgun is empty. Yes. Uh, now, does rapid reload? Dude, what if he forgot? Top? He forgot his. That'd be funny if he forgot his gun was empty. <laughs> I guess it's not trivial. That's kind of important. Yeah, that's it's not trivial in a firefight. It has to be something trivial. Um, okay. So rapid reload. How does that work with this four barrel? It works. It it's half it's the rapid reload. Rapid reload. Yeah. So you're just. Uh, sh- and I'm going to step all the way off the running board. Brace on the hood of the shotgun. And the, or brace on the hood of the car next to us. Smile at the guy inside, and then pull all four triggers at these three ratlings by. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Now that you've committed to that action, did you 
check the ammunition you had loaded into that shotgun? Oh, of course not. Excellent. I just grabbed out of my pouch. All right. So whatever was in my pouch. Which was taken from the armory, which is routinely restocked in the vehicle by Colm. Yes. All right. Uh, I just got a one. You, you, you rolled a one? That I just is, rolled a one. That is the most perfect shot you can make. They are all in the cloud. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for damage. Okay. Uh, so that'll be seven. Ten. Oh, tens you roll again, so that's 17. That was a total 10. Oh, total 10. Yeah, yeah, total 10. Okay. Uh, 9, and 10 again. So 19, uh, 29, and then 7, so 36. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> you pull the triggers, but instead of seeing the... Buckshot or metal filings you've become used to, you see four flares shoot out, white hot and burning. They are so bright that you are blinded for your next turn. However, you hear screaming on the other end as these halflings are running around ablaze. It has set their armor on fire like a blowtorch to butter. They are just screaming in agony. What did you shoot them with? White phosphorus. Oh, yeah, it hurts. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Technically, according to the Magistrata Mundanus, it's for uh, removing migrants from uh, condemned buildings. Scott Brown, get the fuck it. out. Yeah, like... Uh, Scott Brown's a great guy. He sold me a medical center. <laughs> these, Well, it's just one of those things of, like, these squatters won't get out of this building. <laughs> and then just... <laughs> Oh my god. War crimes. Um, uh, Goat, you're up. Um, alright, uh, do I need to take a fear truck from all the supernatural shit I just saw? I think you should. Alright, uh, what's the rating? Uh, let's just say it's mostly trivial. This is, you, you, you've seen more horrors in paperwork. The, the flies bit have you worried, but you're more in the moment right now. Um, I rolled a 26, so yeah, I passed. Okay. Yeah. Um, you, you're like, oh my god, but then you're like, Firefight, and you're brought right back into that moment. Yeah. All right. So, uh, can I still see any hostiles uh, up ahead? You see the ratlings here dancing around on fire, trying to beat each other out and shed their armor. These guys over here, you can hear, but uh, you don't have a perfect line of sight on all of them. They are taking cover. Uh, I'm going to pivot the auto cannon around and try to suppress them. All right. Go for broke. Yep. Uh, ballistic skill versus... Okay, so rolling versus ballistic skill minus 10. Uh, 82, I miss. But they have to check willpower, standard they, willpower, if they're suppressed or not. Indeed. They got a 10. They passed. I almost also deleted the whole map and the table. <laughs> oh, God, this is scary. All right. The ratlings up here have managed to shed most of their armor. They are sizzling. But they begin to shoot back. Uh. All right, so one is throwing a grenade. All right, Mike, the grenade lands. It is right next to you. You are blinded by a concussion effect. Just stunned. Oh. It's the, he he concusses you. Oh, it wasn't an instant grenade. No. It's 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 not a boom like frag. It's it's just a concussion grenade. No, no. I, yeah, I was just thinking. Was it like when it hit the ground? It was like instantly going off. Yes, grenades in yeah, this okay. system usually do. Yeah, in this okay, cool. in this system, unless you have some sort of delay mechanism. Okay. Um, so you're saying I was what now? You're stunned. It's just boom. It's like a big flashbang. Um, okay. So let's see. Uh, the others. One shoots at Griglack and hits him in the leg for 10 damage, left leg. Mm. How much armor does Griglack have on left leg? Uh, Griglack has... Um, he has two plus toughness four, so you take a slug to the leg, and... Oof. Yeah, um, you got four damage on that left leg. You, you are in trouble. It is it is a straight through. This this reminds you of fighting wild beasts on your planet. 
Okay, so that's four damage. Correct. And and your your left leg is considered to be very fucked up right now. Yes, all those wild animals that shoot bullets at me. <laughs> well, it, it, it is Homeworld. You don't know, man. It's, I don't know, man. That's Space weird. Detroit is really dangerous. Okay. Um, one of the other ratlings has shot at Ricky and missed. However, you realize these are fairly high-powered carbines they're using. Okay. All right. Second group of ratlings down here have managed to uh, move behind this vehicle. And they have thrown a smoke grenade in front of the vehicle to obscure them. Oh, shit. All right. So, back to Griglock. So, what does that do to my movement? Uh, right now, it's not gonna, I'm not going to say it impacts it, but you know, if you take another hit there, you, oh, you could you. be very crippled. Oh, well, Griglock charged then. Um, so I will charge this dude and sort of put me between here and... The adult one. All right. Yeah. So you're gonna. Oh, so you're gonna try to run and hop into them in melee. Yep. All right. Let's let's just put you behind them. I'll say that counts as melee. Like you just run in, blood pumping. You're like Greg Lack angry. Greg Lack smash. Um, what does so, a fear rating mean? Um, that certain things have a fear rating, like demons and what have you. Tor, you have to test to even be around them. They just scare the shit out of you. Considering like maxing it's, out fearful aura, tear shit. Yeah, then like it's it's the stuff from like Delta Green. You're like, oh, yeah. All right, so forty seven plus twenty is sixty seven, and of course I will roll a ninety nine. No doubt. Is this two steps from hell? Fifteen. Wow. Uh, one d nine plus nine, or one to ten plus nine. Um, so 10 damage total, and then I have Furious Assault so I can test for a second free attack. Yep, do it. So that's 10 plus, um, okay, hit the second one, and that- Damn, dude, he read right into them. Uh, another 10, so 20 plus- Wait, wait, you rolled a 10? Yes. Alright, every time you roll a 10, keep rolling and adding it up. That's wait, called- so so 29, and then I have um, Crushing Blow, so that's 30, 31, 32, 33. Mm. And I get to go again. <laughs> <laughs> um, this time, I well, the charge only counts on the first attack, right? Correct. Okay, so I missed that time, so only 32, was it? Yeah, so the, the first attack is the one that does all the damage, correct? 32 altogether. All right, so as you charge over the K-rail, you swing and land, like, on one leg, and it hurts your leg a bit, that's why you didn't land the second blow, but you just beat him to death. <laughs> he just... And he just... Oh, well, that was the third blow. I missed just the third monkey. One. Wait, monkey you hit... Oh, the third blow. Okay. The third one missed. The first two hit and do 30-something. Okay, 30. so the second guy pivots toward you with his rifle. He swings it up, and you backhand with the power maul, and in an arc of ozone, you send him off the side screaming. He's like, Fire! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Griglack, well done. You are a mighty warrior. Griglack, mighty. <laughs> Mike, you're up. You just watch Greg like jump over the thing, streaming blood. And seeing that, uh, Ricky is inspired, and uh, you know he shakes off that like, like that grenade. Like, holy fuck! Is who an answer that fucking telephone? All right. So uh, uh, you're still the, stunned. Uh, you're gonna have to test. Oh, oh, I don't know how to do that. What do I roll? Um, toughness, I think. Yeah, toughness to overcome it. Oh shit, my weakest stat. Yeah, it's it's oh. jarring. Yeah, you got flashbang, basically. Oh, I, I rolled a 12. Well, look at me. <laughs> yeah, you're used to it on your home world. It's how the police come in. You're yeah. like, oh, it's those guys. <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, max pain dive into this guy while firing both of my guns. So you okay. Max dive again. Max pain dive. Got it. Right, yeah. Let's just say I, I like land the, like this yeah, way. Yeah, that's fine. You know? Yeah, so you're just going to okay. sideways uh, as you dive yeah. over John Woo that shot. shit. <laughs> yes. All right, let me roll ballistic. 
thought they were about to do Cuban Pete with oh, the dun, intro. Dun, dun, first one misses. Dun, dun. Uh, first one misses. Ooh, second one is a nine. All right. So the second one is my revolver. My first one's a shotgun. All right. You managed to you managed to drill him. Uh, let's let's because he's wearing no armor anymore. He it all burned off. Um. So okay, so let me roll the yeah the location. Uh, left. Arm. All right, you shoot him and he drops the rifle. He is out of the combat, but he is still alive for the moment. He he just drops the rifle. The arm is limp. Jesus. You no, know, Tex, I'm starting to think these guys are pretty strong. They are. It's almost like I have been turning up the heat as we go. Um, deputy, you heat. I roll three it. dice for powers next time. All right, deputy, you're up. I am blinded this turn as I stared into four little suns moving slowly towards those rats. <laughs> uh, so what what effect does that have on me? Am I able to take a turn? You're you're gonna need a turn to kind of oh. blink that off. Okay, By the that's way, what I thought. In my in my last turn, of course, I rapid reload. Of course, that's just, yeah. what just your so, guy yeah. does. You're just like, <laughs> yeah. Just assume, just assume that's what my guy does after every turn. If I don't use a half action, yeah. So I, I'm just gonna hunker down, you know, at at the car right here. Yeah, sure and just I'm like hold nice your eyes, small. Yeah, and start rubbing my face. Like, oh, I feel sunburned all of a sudden. <laughs> Got that nuclear tan. Yeah. Yeah. Adam bomb, baby. She's my Adam bomb. All right, goat, you're up. Okay. Uh, I'm, do I have an angle on the guys now? It's smoke. It? They've thrown smoke grenade. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. I uh, thought I was before goat. I didn't go. I've only shot yeah. one. What's time is the it? car. It's like GTA. It'll oh, I did. Smoke. I did miss I'm you. Say, like, yeah, I I'm I sorry. I, 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 I fucked that up. Sorry. Before Deb. Well, Deputy couldn't do anything anyway. Sorry. Uh, Diggs, you're up. Okay. I'm going to use distort vision. I don't need a. I only need to roll one dice to do that automatically. I rolled a. I rolled a ten actually, so perfect. Um, it essentially makes me completely invisible to anything that doesn't have psi science tests. Or, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I I get my happy ass out of this thing, and that's a free. That's a uh, free action, so I can just do a full run. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that, and then I'm going to do my full movement to get to the front of this the front of the vehicle and hunker down all right and and that vehicle is extremely armored so putting all that armor between you and the bad guys is probably a good call <laughs> yep all right but currently no, nothing can even perceive me all right uh goat you're up all right um i want to keep suppressing okay and uh yeah i, I oh um Guns jam ninety. Does this is the auto cannon reliable? I think the base one is, but is this one? It is. Okay, then I don't jam. I just keep doom, 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 and I miss horribly again. Yep, but they are gonna. Uh, yeah, they got a three. They passed. All right, so now it's their turn. They begin to advance, and you've noticed they have folded out and fit together ballistic shields. Which they are oh, no. currently behind. Very tactical. These guys are too tactical for us. They're very staggered. And, <laughs> and your cousin rallies are annoying. <laughs> yeah. And uh, hold on, they're rolling. Uh, goat, they shoot you in the right arm for ten damage. I don't get the dot. Oh yeah, I'm out of time. Uh, right arm, ten damage. Any penetration? No. I take six wounds. I am now at half health. Ah! <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> they're like, oh fuck! I just I get rained on by blood. I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't do it this time. <laughs> All right, fun times on the bridge. So, oh yeah, Grig I'm gonna Lag. kill that fucking shack, dude. Grig I'm Lag. gonna divine. You know what? That's what I'm doing next turn. Fuck this fight. I'm help killing that guy in the shack. <laughs> Grig Lag, you're up. Um. Griglack is going to try to run on his half of a leg. So you tell me how far I can go. Uh, you, uh, full movement for the moment. Um, okay, then I can run over here between this pylon and these dudes. All right. That's your movement, but very tactical. Mike, you're up. All right. Seeing Griglack run over there, I, I, I take a cue from him. 
and I am also going to run over there, but because my guy can hip shoot, I'm also going to, as I'm getting into cover, crack one of my shots off with my <laughs> double barrel shotgun nice. at uh, these two guys over here. Okay. Can see. You, you so can... it's, it's like the boss fight with Revolver Ocelot where he's just bouncing <laughs> between pillars yep. shooting a single action army at you. <laughs> <laughs> it, this, is, this is reminding me of the end of the Wild Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> just running between stuff and shooting. All right, so you can yeah. see these last two guys. Make your shot. All right, and it's only one shot. That's why I'm firing the shotgun. Yeah. Uh, at those two. So I'll let you pick who I hit if I hit. Ooh, uh, I do not hit. That is beyond my capabilities, 84. All right, shot goes wild. Uh, Diggs, you're up. You know what? I sense my friend is hurting next to me. I'm gonna try. I never done this before, oh, so no. I look at him holding his arm, <laughs> screaming, and I start rubbing my hands together. I'm like, picturing a wound closing, picturing a wound closing, as I uh, attempt <laughs> to manifest healing. <laughs> And his eyes are glued shut. I rolled a nine. God damn it. <laughs> oh! So you do, you do. Wait, one second. Let me just heal it really quick. He heals three points. Oh, all right. But then. His arm damn falls it. off. <laughs> <laughs> he he oh, heals three points, but his arm starts slapping him. <laughs> he like... heals three points, and I, I rolled a, a four. Warp echoes. Yeah. Okay. So, Okay. You start here and sure, you go ahead. But. All right. So, so for the next few seconds, everything you hear around you is echoed. Every sound, every racking of a gun bolt, every word spoken. For no you hear reason. Your own crying, goat. But your your wound feels better. How much did I, how much did I heal again? Three. Three. Okay. So, uh, uh, what is this? <laughs> and then, as you, you say, you see me go like this, and as <laughs> slightly better yet worse. Yeah, and, and as you say, what is this? You hear, what is this? What is this? What is? This? Yeah, yeah. All right, the warp is awesome. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't worry. Um, don't worry, don't deputy. Worry. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, deputy. You're up. You've cleared right, your blindness. I, I, you know, stop rubbing my eyes. Look up. See them behind the tactical shield and formation go i've seen this one before it's a classic and <laughs> doom reload my shotgun and empty all four barrels i'll prone out and empty all four barrels out. oh so you're gonna go for the feetsies yes <laughs> <laughs> it's a classic it's a classic it's a classic it's a classic <laughs> all right don't worry about the echoes <laughs> all right <laughs> they stop eventually they always do all right roll that's an 87. That is a fail. All right. Uh, the shotgun blast hits the front shield and just sparks into the ground. These weren't flares. I, I'm rolling yeah, on I, a... I gathered. I'm, I'm rolling on a chart to randomly... Unless you inspect the ammunition, it's going to be a I'm random... I'm not inspecting the ammo. It's a random I, jumble. I'm Doom guy, like, fucking throwing four in and break <laughs> action. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's like those Doom mods where it's, like, just overhand the doing this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, the gazillion barrel shotgun. All right, Goat, yep. your, your, your injury is no longer life-threatening, but you, you've certainly... This is the worst paper cut you've ever had, and it... Yeah. It it feels say. it it feels almost like that one time that they ran over your foot in the library stacks. Oh no! Yeah, I I never did. I never could forgive them for that. But I you are made up. Them pay. But I'm gonna make these guys pay. Uh, <laughs> well, have they come in, so they come into view, but they have the big ass shields, right? Yep. Let's see how that, you have the big ass gun. Yeah, I'm gonna see. I was saying, like, uh, let's see how that stacks up. I can't even find later. stats for auto guns. <laughs> auto cannon is three d10 plus six penetration. Uh, three d10 plus eight penetration six, and I rolled Jesus. a uh, ninety, so I miss. <laughs> do it, <laughs> dude, dude, dude! Please, anything. please use a fate point, please. Yeah, fine. You, we got, we got. Point. He's a like, lot of them. he's like, but I need them. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a four. Oh my! Yeah, that's uh, three hits. Right? That is three hits. That's the a... best fate point ever used, right there, <laughs> sir. So far, All right? Okay, so hit number one is 
is um, 23 damage penetration, 6 to the head. (laughs) (laughs) Next shot is uh, 23 pen 6 to the uh, right hand. (laughs) Okay, so 30 damage penetration, 6 to the groin. Oh, oh God. all right, all right. That so fucking RoboCop style. All right, so the first guy, the first guy is you just bring this gun up and you drive all your hatred for all those years people filled out the wrong forms and you are lost in a hail of cacophonous gunfire as the auto cannon feeds your hate. The first round goes right through the shield. And you just see a hole straight through the shield made of meat, and the shield hits the ground, and the body hits to the left of it. That guy is Fetus Deletus. The second guy, he was waiting on that shield which fell to the ground. He starts to scream something before the round tears his fucking arm off. It just gores and pulps. He is dead. The third guy just explodes. You just hit him in the (laughs) dick, and the round goes off. The last guy, however breaks and runs and he repels over the side god he's fucking glass Rigglack, get him (laughs) (laughs) the combat has ended gentlemen wow wait how fast can i go over and cut his repel rope i'll allow you to test that (laughs) uh okay that's agility yeah is anyone else hurt Oh no. Knees healing. Okay, so Dampini runs over and just cuts the rope. I, and... I, I take the saber and just like bam and slice it down on the rope. All right. The rope snaps with a twang, and as you look over the edge, you see him fall down and splat on the deck of a waiting boat. Oh. <laughs> However, is there a registration number on that ship? There is not. But the driver of the boat guns it. And starts to take off. However, you seem to notice that he has one distinctive feature. Wooden legs. I pull out my sniper rifle, and I want to (laughs) beat up full aim on his head and take a shot. It is it is going to be really hard because the boat, he's driving under the bridge. So (laughs) it would be very hard for you to do so. So it's a minus 30? Yeah. Okay. Please don't be nine. Seven. Okay. Channeling. I hit it. 14. Because my my unnatural lane gives me plus 30. Negates that. My ballistic skill is 40. I rolled a 14. All right. Uh, however, he dodged. I can see that. <laughs> yeah, you need an escape. Yes, men with wanted. two peg legs are known for I should just divine shot. <laughs> no, he I know, but that could be those could be bionics with just wooden casing. Yeah, I'm I'm now. giving you shit. Okay. Yeah, no, it's it's so, not like an old sea sailor like ah, k- 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 k. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to stroll over to the uh combatant. Well, hold on a second. A Diggs you were saying? Yeah, sorry. Does does anyone do I did I notice anyone else get hurt or see anyone hurt? Uh yeah, Griglack is no, pretty. No, Griglack is fine. <laughs> no, no, I no, no, wait, Griglack, Griglack. I just learned this. Hold on. No, Grig, no, Griglack <laughs> raises his magic sword. <laughs> so I rolled a one, uh, seven. Oh, actually, still happens. So seven would be six, so three total. Yeah. So he heals his leg, heals three. Wow, you, you Greg like actually feels better, and only slightly cursed. Yep, I go, <laughs> and then it's like, why? Why does my leg feel better? <laughs> I don't know how this works either. It's crazy. That's awesome. All right, so one moment as I go into my thing, and yeah, and uh, after the battle is over, he just walks up behind where Deputy cut that rope. Uh, like he lights a cigarette as he's like trying to walk over the side of this railing to like get to the other side but he like tr- catches his foot and he trips and falls he goes oh fuck he drops a cigarette and falls off the side of the bridge it's like my last fucking smoke and I start I looking around I wonder if any of them big. had smokes on them 
I, I'm going to look around on the vehicles that are on the bridge for smoke. <laughs> the abandoned vehicles. <laughs> yeah. That is that is awesome. So, all right, you you, you deputy, you said you were going to go over to the guy who'd been disarmed and shot, and <laughs> yes, yeah, he's I'm going he's to secure him. He looks like he's about to die. Oh, I can fix that. Hold on. I do have interrogate. Interrogate. <laughs> he heals one point of damage. Yeah. He he is still very close to death. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> he is he is he is burned. He's been shot. He's 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 he just sitting there. All right. So, are you willing to talk? He just stares at you, and there's hate in his eyes. Well, that's, that's not understandable. It's not a, no, it's not. Don't accept that. I'm right next to you now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm gonna give him a good kick in the ribs. He grunts but says nothing. Like kick him over so that I can cuff him. Oh, all right. So yeah, you you cuff him. And One I'm... of his hands is really mangled. It's almost like someone shot it. Well, yes. <laughs> I'm going to lift him by that arm and put him in the back of the truck. He 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 grunts a little bit as you do it, but it's obvious the fight has gone out of him. Yeah. Ma'am. Yes, what? yes, I know. You're very tough. Get into the fucking truck. Alright, I think that we should return to our station. As Griglack needs new pants. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you forgot you needed new pants again. <laughs> Yeah, I, my guy's like, why do we need new pants? Like, I have this big tear on mine, but, you know, I just put like a little tape there and it's fine. <laughs> My guy's been walking around with this big giant tear in his pant leg the whole time. Do you want to search the guy? Well, yes, yeah. that is that is yeah. part of you know nobody goes in the vehicle without being searched. Well, I know. I'm just saying. Do I you apologize. Want to? I did not uh, state that out loud. Yeah. So I have I have search plus ten. All right. Uh, thirty two. My perception is forty six plus ten. All right. So that's a success. As you search him. You find that his person has been completely sanitized. He has no ID. His clothes are new. He has no identifying marks, except for a tattoo on his shin of a single, long, sharp object. It almost looks like a splinter. Okay. He has no money. He has no radio equipment. He has a couple of magazines. And what kind of gun did he have? Uh, armor? Am I able to determine anything from the armor on the the, the armor on that guy who survived? They've thrown over the side after they've been set on fire. Yes. Um, however, from the armor you saw, it looked like police issue, if not better. I'd the, be offended if I was a police officer. However, the guns you you managed to recover two of the guns, and I will put them in the center of the no. Okay, I guess I won't. Um, I'll put them somewhere. Uh, wait. can I? Now these are these are their uh, cut off carbines. Yep, right there. Mag City Gunworks Model Four. Huh, not bad. No, pretty bad. No. They're they're not great. Okay, are those serialized? The everything's been scrubbed. The guns are completely sanitized. Okay, that's that's what I was asking. Excellent. So this we is will... why the rattlings exist. You can go under the table and get so many free guns. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's why they keep going underground. That's where all the good shit is. God, I God. hate, I hate this. But yeah, they they have some cut down rifles, and it's been done professionally. However, you, I go ahead. You you notice uh, the bus at the front, at the uh, front of the obstruction gets nudged. Looks like your creepy friend maybe has some fight left in him. His head exploded. Uh, I really don't trust that to stop anyone these days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let you go deal with it. All right, I uh, I advance cautiously on the bus. I take a full aim, just Overwatch. Um, can should I roll law to see what should be done with people who witness uh, a natural phenomena? Yeah, I know the Inquisition mandates. I yeah, know, but I, you, I don't you, think I would. I don't know. You would not know that, no. You, you, uh, but I'm rolling. Yeah, I rolled 87. What do I? What does the Codex, the Lex Imperialis, say to do about? Says you should notify local law enforcement, which is you. Oh. 
Um, his is radio is radio back. No, nope. I need to. I need, fuck. Okay. Well, I, I just make notes. Or I just start writing down a report of what happened to give to yeah, start start doing cliff notes nice so as you walk around the edge of the bus you see a wrecker trying to clear the bus and it's two guys in hard hats how long until the obstruction is clear uh one guy says the other goes yeah we got dispatch from uh city central um uh, there was some guy in robes or something he turned into a bunch of bugs and blew away i thought that was weird anyways uh-huh five minutes Thank you for your service. We heard a lot of stuff, a bunch of cars backfiring or something. Do not worry about it. The police has handled the matter. Oh, when are they getting here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where are they getting here? Uh, is, is his fiery sword still on the deck? It is a dull black metal. And his clothing is still there. Let me see it. Uh, I do not know what I'm looking at, but I motion for somebody who might. I'll go up and can I recognize any of the stuff he's dropped? You notice as, as you look at the sword, it is a Psy blade. It is something to be wielded by psychers and channel their power through it. Wait, a, a force sword? Correct. Oh, fuck. Um, That's turbo expensive and rare. Hmm. I'm just going to be like poking it, see if anything happens. Does it move? Feels like a Psy focus. And a blade. What about his clothes? They seem kind of nice, but not your size. Uh, is there <laughs> any kind of like marks or indication on him that give any information? He looks like he was sanctioned. So, but why would why would a sanctioned psyker? That doesn't Another that doesn't make mystery. any sense. And I'm, I'm just saying that over to to the guardsman. However, it, is is you rustle his clothing a little a little packet a little leather satchel becomes visible. It must have been underneath him. Take it out real easily. Yeah. I don't want to smell it just in case it's dope. <laughs> You're like, oh, oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> 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 you just run you off. You cast more shit! Just start casting everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll check out what the packet is. Inside are a packet of the man's personal effects. It, there are no instructions or anything, but there are pictures of you all and pieces of your clothing. Wait, this is... This is what diviners do to find people. Wait, he okay. was doing... Sir, and I just give him the packet. What do you make of this? Uh, where's I'm... where's uh, where's Uriah? I want him to figure think of this. <laughs> Ricky, right. you know, come over here because I feel bad. Uh, where the hell did Greg like go? I, I'm looking... <laughs> He's like on top of the bridge. For... Yeah, <laughs> Greg Lag is on top of the bridge eating birds. He's just like... Oh. <laughs> I, I'm looking... In, I'm, I'm going to walk over there, but I... And, on the way up there, I'm looking into each car window, hoping to see cigarettes or even better dope. I, you find a carton of smokes. Oh, sweet! Yeah, I just grab them and I'm like, "You won't be needing this." And then I walk over and I put the uh, the carton underneath my arm and I'm like, "All right, so mission accomplished." What are you guys looking at? Uh, what? Hang on. What should I roll here to figure this out? Let's just say intelligence or logic. Logic sounds good. I have that at a plus zero, and I rolled a 59, so failure, unless it was easy. As far as you know, it's this is Psyker crap, and you don't like Psyker crap. However, right. you do recognize an item of your own clothing. In fact, it's one of your shoelaces. I look down at my shoes. They, their laces are there. These must be from your spares. I don't carry a spare with... I leave that in my bunk. Well, yes. Let me take a look at that. Wait, that, wait, wait, what? Wait, is yeah, a piece what? of cloth part of any of my hats? I swear to Christ, I will divine shot that guy on the boat right now. There's, there's, some, fucking, <laughs> there's some fucking time fuckery going on here, lads. Is that a yeah, part of what? my pants? So, yes. so it's a picture of each of us, a piece of one of our clothing, it, including the hole in his only pair of pants. It, it is a piece of your pants, Mike. That's what I figured. <laughs> Oh, it's like a tear, like straight and, down the pant leg. And the item for me? Piece of your holster. A I only have one of those. A tiny sliver of it. Okay. Interesting. It's not my hat, right? It No, no. Okay. It's almost as though, while you were off duty or sleeping, someone provided these items to this person. That fucking bitch didn't like my bread that much where she gave this guy... Ah. Uh, 
So someone has access to the department. We should well, ask the frog. Maybe this is, this has to be connected to the to, to, our, to the <laughs> last one. We must consult the frog. Who were killed by the, the the halflings are tainted by the by the dark. Oh, this is this is Inquisition stuff. And he just starts rambling on and on and on for like conspiracy theory type shit. Um, the uh, vehicle uh, that is obstructing your way has been moved. And uh, the the construction guy comes over and he's like, "Okay, uh, I guess traffic can go now or something." <laughs> and I just go like no. emotion, like you have to move all these other cars too because all <laughs> these people are coming back. Yeah, he he, they, they've just decided to leave. <laughs> They're like, "Job's done," and they like drive off to the big city. Excellent. All right, let's load up and let's go back to the station. The only way to go back to the station is to cross the it's bridge. Forward. Of course. The only way back is forward. The end is never the end. And All I, right. like, I know what ability I'm picking up next time I have some XP. I think that's where we can end it here for tonight, as you yes. finally cross the bridge. Psychometry. I'm going to just start picking up shit and be like, where are you from? <laughs> and it's going <laughs> to tell me. Or demons. One of those two. Yeah. Well, that was a fun episode. Surely not a foreshadowing of things to come. At any rate, thank you for listening. And remember, you have a choice in podcasts, so inviting me and my crew to hang out in your life for even just an evening is really special. And I thank you so much for your support. <laughs>